Hi, and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com Witnessing the world, smiling on a warm, sunny day here in Hua Hin, Thailand And uh, I'm wearing my King's Statues Memorial t-shirt Place that I went to visit a couple of weeks ago Went to see it, got the t-shirt This Witnessing the World presentation is saying something which I think is really important it's about being mature and being adult and witnessing the different behaviours between children growing into youths and young adults in Thailand probably many other countries in comparison to what goes on in Europe and all around the um, the UK and without criticism or judgment just witnessing and commentary one of the things that I've got to say is that as a parent and if you if you're a parent or a grandparent or even as a person in the world that is existing around children and being a role model you've got to be responsible from the age of 18 you are responsible you can't blame your parents, your background, your education, your health, whatever. It's up to you. I know if you've got kids, and I had kids, single dad for a long, 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 long time. And Catherine and Steve and my children are very proud of. But, as with all children, there was days when they didn't want to get out of bed, didn't want to do the homework, didn't want to do the housework, didn't want to do this, didn't want to do that. And I've got to be honest with you, there's days when I was the same as a child and sometimes I can be like that as an adult. It's called procrastination. You find all the reasons, all the excuses not to do things. And when you're a child or, you know, when you're, you've got a mentor or a guardian or somebody encouraging you, motivating you, giving you that kick up the backside that you very often need. People will try and say, come on, get up, get on with it. But you get to a stage where there isn't anybody there to do that for you. Funnily enough, today, August the 14th, 2018, is the eighth year anniversary of my father's passing he died this day eight years ago in 2010 I miss him very much he motivated me as a child as did my mother inspired me educated me loved me cared for me but they didn't over protect me they set me free to be me and I've done the same with my kids I've guided them mentored them molded them set them free I still support them they come back to me I give them more support and love in all sorts of ways guidance but I try and lead by example nobody gave me anything really apart from love support education inspiration I self-educated myself although I had an education most of the stuff that I do now and everything that I'm educated in has been either self-taught or self-sought and this is what this message is all about. People say that I'm very lucky, but you've probably heard me say, the harder I work, the luckier I become. There comes a stage in your life, which I suggest to you should be today, having watched this presentation, that you decide to pick up the gauntlet and run with it, to take the baton and run with that, whatever metaphor you want, but put up or shut up. Either get on with it and make a success of it, it, become what you're capable of becoming, which I could suggest is far more than you currently are, or stop moaning, complaining and explaining why you're not those things. Because the amount of energy and effort that you put in will be equally resulted in what you get out more effort in, more energy in, better results. And that's what I've always found and that's why 24 hours of the day isn't enough for me. 
and I'm reinventing myself all the time. Coming up with new ideas, new concepts, mentally programming myself, physically conditioning myself to be the best that I can be. And that's what all my students, clients and people that come on my workshops, classes and one-to-ones learn. What are you going to do about it? Are you taking responsibility? Responsibility is the ability to respond to all the circumstances of your life, all your stories, all the excuses. I'm too young, I'm too old, I'm not good looking enough, I'm not clever enough, I've not got the right certificate, certificates, I've not got the right background, I'm in the wrong place, I'm in the wrong country. It's my parents' fault, it's the government's fault, it's my doctor's fault, it's the school's fault, I wasn't told, I don't know the right people. All bollocks. It doesn't mean a thing. I know lots of successful people from all sorts of backgrounds, all sorts of physical stories, mental stories, emotional stories. Totally relevant. If you want to succeed, you can. You can have been do anything. And from the age of 18, you're responsible. You're an adult. No excuses. If you rob a bank or you do something, you're not a child, you'll get locked up. Can't blame anybody. Take responsibility. You can fight for your country. You can attend. You can be a juror and put people in jail. You can end up in jail yourself. Take responsibility for your life. Invest in as much time in yourself as you would with money. Invest your time wisely. Use your mind intelligently. Learn to use your mind intelligently. Train your body. Have the best body that you can. Get fit mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. Take responsibility. Step up. There's nobody to parent you after the age of 18. You parent yourself. Look after yourself. Mentor yourself. Support yourself. Motivate yourself. And if I can help you, that's what I'm here to do. But I'm not here to sell my service. I'm here to motivate you to be everything. And your unlimited consciousness. And you are unlimited. And you're only limited by your own self-limiting beliefs. So... Believe more of yourself, expect more of yourself and achieve more for yourself, your family, your loved ones. Leave a fantastic legacy so that when you go to your grave, you've sung your song. You haven't got a song inside you that you haven't sung. You've tried everything, whether you've failed or not, you've had a go. You can hold your head up and say, that was me, this is my life and I did my very best. Do that for your own good. God bless.